And welcome to the Aaron Katzman Show. I'm your host, Aaron Katzman. We're here to speak to you about your life, your money, and your investments. And as always, we're coming to you from the spiritual and soon-to-be financial capital of the world, Jerusalem, Israel. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me at Aaron, A-A-R-O-N, at Lighthouse with an L, lighthousecapital.co.il. That's Aaron at lighthousecapital.co.il. You can check me out on the web at www.aaronkatzman.com. That's www.aaronkatzman, aaronkatzman.com. Be sure to follow me both on Twitter and on LinkedIn. And also be sure to subscribe to our brand new YouTube channel. So I'll tell you what I want to speak to you about. Over the last 48 hours, literally, sometimes I might make things up, but this is actually true. Over the last 48 hours, I've gotten, I've received two phone calls that are really, really similar. And they point to the fact that when you come into money and you don't exactly know what to do with money, please go to a professional and get advice, okay? Don't just go to your friends who don't know your situation and have them give you advice, which is going to cost you for the rest of your life. The situations are almost identical, okay? In both cases, we have people who are, I got calls from people who are, are either um, freshly retired or planning on retiring in the next year or two. Both of them came into money, approximately, let's say, around 300, between three and $400,000. Um, both of them had very little um, retirement savings, actually zero retirement savings, and very, very little in the way of pension. Both of them have a little bit of U.S. Social Security, and both of them are going to get a little bit of Israeli bituach me. and uh, one of them is going to get like a couple hundred dollars of pension because he didn't really work very much while he was living in Israel. They both called me up and they said, yeah, well, we're debating, but we think that we want to take the money because um, we're both renting. We want to buy apartments to live in, which could be a good idea, right? And then I said to them, wait a second, you're going to take all your money. You're going to leave yourself with basically zero money at all. Okay. You you're going to have a shortfall. They, they admitted to me that they have a shortfall on the day to day, right? They won't be able to finish their month because they won't have enough money. And they want to take all the, and they, they want to take all their money, put it into a department, blow out their liquidity, blow out their savings, and not have enough money basically to put food on the table. So I went through it and I explained that to them. I said, who's giving you this advice? Both of them said, well, you know, we've got to buy property. Property, this was a great investment. I said, yeah, but you're not investing. This is where you want to live, right? And you need to keep liquidity, especially I've spoken about this a, a lot, right? When you get older, you need to have money, which is liquid. What's that mean? It means money that you can call upon in a day or two to meet some kind of need you have. Let's say, God forbid, right? Something happens to you and you need to widen the bathroom to get a, to, to uh, fit a wheelchair. In. Okay. Let's say you have to get an aid, a healthcare aid. You have no money. Let's say, and that, let's say that costs you I don't know, fifty thousand dollars, a couple hundred thousand shekel, just to do that renovation. Let's say to get to make your your home wheelchair accessible. What are you going to do if all your money's sunk into a property? Right, you can't take a saw, right, and cut. Can't cut with the saw like your living room and say, "Here you go. Here's my living room. Give me a couple hundred thousand dollars." It doesn't work that way. You need to keep liquidity. Okay, especially as you get older, it's the most important thing to do. Now, in the case of both these people, not only do they need their investments to generate supplementary income for themselves, they also have to have principal, right, in case they need a chunk of money. What they wanted to do is buy a property they were going to go live in and have no liquidity left whatsoever, So that, which means, again, as I said at the beginning, they have no way to have any supplementary income. They're going to be living, both of them, like on less than $1,500 a month, or approximately $1,500 a month, okay? And no chunk of change left over if God forbid something were to happen. So I said to them, in both cases I asked, I was so curious, I said, who gave you this advice? Who's telling you to do this? And they both say, well, you know, our friends keep telling us that, you know, property in Israel is great. I'm like, did your friends sit with you and actually analyze your financial situation? Your friends are not doing you any services. You might not have to pay for their advice, 
but they're not helping you out. In fact, they're, they're probably going to set you up for the worst financial mistake you've ever made in your life. In fact, I went home last night after my first call. And I told my daughter, my 20-year-old daughter, I said, okay, this is the scenario. What would you advise? And even she said, well, I don't think I would buy an apartment. And I was like, good for you. Okay, you can take the keys to the car and you get to drive. It was your reward. Your reward for getting the right answer. Right. Thankfully, something is sunk in for me, just going on rants, financial rants in the house. Right. At least, at least my, my 20 year old daughter um, understands basic finance, personal finance. I was telling these people, you know, you can choose to work with me or you can choose to work with somebody else, but to please do me a favor. Don't buy the property. Invest the money that you have in a solid, you know, balanced or moderate portfolio, stocks, bonds, ETFs, whatever. So you can generate the income that you need and hopefully over time you can grow your portfolio, but at the very least, you know, keep the principle more or less stable so that if you run into an emergency and if we get older, those things happen, unfortunately, but we all know that those things happen. You'll have that money on the side that you can tap into immediately to meet that need, okay? When, you're, when you get a chunk of money, especially if you don't even know much what to do with money, you don't have any experience with a lot of money, speak to a financial professional. Don't speak to your well-meaning friends who don't have a clue, right? And who are gonna set you up for just disaster. In fact, the call that I have basically today, the person didn't want to buy an apartment, he wanted to buy land. I'm like, land? Why, so that in 25 years it gets rezoned and maybe you hit a grand slam? I said, you have no money now. You don't have enough money. Literally don't have any pension money. You're telling me you're going to retire in a year. And you're going to try and make it work on $1,500 a month? Why on earth would you buy land? Because somebody told you it's a good idea? Was that person going to get like an 11% commission for the money that you were going to put in for the land deal? Give me a break. A little common sense, okay? And then please seek the advice of a professional. Okay, the one thing I know that I did today, I, don't know, I might not get any of this business, but at least I saved people from themselves, from making just a catastrophic financial mistake. Okay, again, if you come into money, speak to a professional. Don't just speak to your friends who might be really well-meaning, but don't know your specific financial situation and what your goals are and what your needs are. Okay, do me a favor. Do yourself a favor and do your heirs a favor. Okay. You've been tuning in to the Aaron Katzman Show. I'm your host, Aaron Katzman. We speak to you about your life, your money, and your investments. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to email me at Aaron, A-A-R-O-N, at Lighthouse with an L, lighthousecapital.co.il. That's Aaron at lighthousecapital.co.il. You can check me out on the web at www.aaronkatzman.com. That's www.aaronkatzman.com. Aaron Katzman.com. Be sure to follow me on both Twitter, and on LinkedIn. And of course, what would the show be without saying, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you get all the content, all the videos in one place and just subscribe and then just like hit like, 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 like. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll speak to you soon.